Hello everyone, this opportunity we will be building a simple data table from Prime React. Our source will be this fake API. We will be using the post, um, <laughs> the get method is post that will be retrieving a hundred posts. Um, for this project I already installed Prime React, it's Prime icons and um, another feature over there which if you don't know how to install it, you can watch another video that will be I will be leaving a card uh, at the top of this video. Um, so yes, we let's begin. I will be creating a new file. And then let's default this. We will be using some hooks use state and also use effect uh, and then we will be importing the data table from prime react data table we will also need the column from almost the same source and I forgot to mention that I also imp installed Axios in this project before we continue I will be adding some CSS files which are here on the Prime React documentation I will be copying this and I will be paste it in our index HTML file. Of course there are no other ways to do this, but to keep it simple I will do it I will do it this way. Okay now let's create this this is where we'll be storing or our files or the information that we will be retrieving will be stored and then we will be we will be using use effect to retrieve, retrieve that information once the page is loaded we will we will use the get method I will copy this URL Okay, now and the result will be here. Should be good by now. And now our data table. Data table. The value will be what we have in post this um, let's close it what do I have here wrong um, okay let's do something while we are customizing this let's see the results This project is already running, so um, I need to modify our app file. I will import our file that we just created. Okay, now I have here an error. Okay, we got this error is because of this. We got this. We have to eliminate it, and then should be fine. Now we are going to keep customizing our data table, adding this responsive layout. It will be a sc scroll paginator temple will be first page link. 
previous page link page links next page link last page link current page report rows per page drop down our data key will be ID which it will be provided will be we will be using paginator our ND message just in case we don't receive anything no data found class name will be data table responsive current page report temple will be showing first to last of total records users not post and we will be showing 10 records now we are going to add the columns that is why we got here from brand react column field field name user ID which is coming from our JSON source This column will be sortable and the header will be user ID. Now we'll copy and paste this. On the next field will be ID. Um, the next one will be title and the final column will be body. I'll say this and see the results and now we get our data table with the data read, read from this fake API we are using pagination we are going we are only showing 10 records and also we can sort it by column name I almost forgot adding this little but very important part of the use effect hook. Um, it won't change much too much anything that we done so far, but uh, you know for performance purposes this needed to be added. Thank you for watching. See you next time.